Five American citizens detained in Iran could soon be heading home. As part of the deal, the Biden administration agreed to issue a waiver for international banks to transfer $6 billion in frozen Iranian money without fear of U.S. sanctions. The administration also agreed to release five Iranian citizens held in U.S. custody. Well, Weijia Jiang joins us now from the White House with more on this surprise deal. Uh, Weijia, thank you very much. Um, so, you know, give us the basics. Lay out the basics. Who are these uh, prisoners and what do we know about the deal thus far? So we first started learning about this deal when it was put together about a month ago in principle. And the development that happened um, recently last week was that Secretary of State Antony Blinken essentially signed off on it. So the administration is calling this a procedural step, which is basically a formality in order to move ahead with this prisoner swap. So we already knew uh, the details of, of what this deal was going to be. And as you mentioned, that includes includes six billion dollars of Iranian money as well as um, an exchange of five Iranian uh, prisoners who are currently detained in the United States. Now to be clear and you so rightfully uh, pointed out that this is Iranian money. This is not taxpayer funds. There's no money directly, uh, new money going to Iran. But this is uh, Tehran money that was already, you know, part of their portfolio. It's just that they couldn't access it because it was being held in foreign banks. And as a result of U.S. sanctions, um, you know, nobody wanted to do transactions because they would have uh, had to face severe penalties. So now banks from everywhere in South Korea, Qatar, Switzerland can go ahead and move that money around um, for Iran without consequences. And that is why it's an unfreezing of this money. We should also point out that, you know, according to um, the deal, the money, the six billion dollars has to be used for humanitarian um, reasons. And so there are definitely checks and safeguards in place for this money, but critics are very quick to say they shouldn't have access to it at all. Um, so let's talk about that. Let's talk about what the critics have to say about a deal like this. You know, anytime um, Iran is getting any assistance, there are going to be some who are, you know, not going to be happy about it because the thing about sort of earmarking money, say, for humanitarian efforts, it means that they no longer have to spend that money on humanitarian efforts, which frees up money for perhaps other things. Exactly. And that is exactly why Republicans have been issuing statement after another calling this a ransom, saying that the U.S. is paying a ransom in order to get five Americans back that the U.S. is negotiating with terrorists and really um, using sharp words. In fact, Senator Chuck Grassley said that it is ridiculous for the U.S. to be, quote, blackmailed into paying six billion dollars for hostages. Uh, you know, there are other concerns that, you know, not only Iran, but other uh, nations are watching and saying, hey, if we detain an American citizen, perhaps, um, you know, we mm -hmm. could get money out of it. Um, and so, uh, there are a lot of responses, but, you know, this has been a priority for the Biden administration to bring Americans home. We've reported out um, several high profile prisoner swaps that include, of course, WNBA uh, star Brittany Griner and Trevor Reed coming back from Russia. Anne-Marie. Right. Weija, thank you very much.